like look. going through this these like white mm -hmm. clouds or something white clouds very good so describe these white clouds for me what are they like dense mm -hmm. dense clouds can't see anything else but mm -hmm. the now as you're focusing on these clouds where are you are you in the clouds are yes. you okay so if you're in the clouds you, that means that you're able to move see if you can move through these clouds i, I just keep being pulled up pulled up very good so allow yourself to be pulled up and let's see where you go just describe it as you do Very fast. A very, lot of wind. A lot of wind. Very good. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It feels like it's not ending. It just keeps pulling and pulling me up. Mm -hmm. There's many clouds. And okay, so just allow yourself to be pulled. Just enjoy the ride and see what happens. Just describe it as you go. I think I'm floating now. I'm floating. Very good. So tell me what's around you as you float. It's like space. Mm-hmm. And the blue and black. Blue and black space. Do you notice anything in this space? I see stars, but I'm looking back and mm -hmm. I see the blue of the of the planet. Mm -hmm. Which planet do you see? What comes to your mind when you see that? What's the name of that planet? I think it's Earth, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. You'll know it if it is. Use all of your feelings. Does it feel like Earth or a different place? It feels different because I don't see that many, like the clouds are going mm -hmm. up to almost a space. So it Very good. Feel like Earth. Mm -hmm. So let's see where it is that you're going. It's very blue. Mm hmm. I'm floating above it. How does it feel to float above this? Light. Mm hmm And while you're floating, I want you to notice, to see what you are. Do you have a body, some sort of a form as you float? It's like... can see through myself it's very um I just see an outline mm -hmm. I see through myself yes what do you look like there like a like a it's like <laughs> I have a wing I have wings you have wings I look transparent mm -hmm. what color are these wings my whole body's transparent. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to have these wings? They're very big and broad. Mm -hmm. Can you move can with these wings? Easily with them. Very good. So we're going to use those wings now. And I want you to go ahead and expand those wings. And let's go flying to see what it is that you need to know today. Tell me where you take this body with these wings. Describe everything you see and feel.
There's like a sunset. Mm -hmm. Where do you see the sunset? It's very red. Mm -hmm. And there's a big sun. It's giant and it's yellow. And mm -hmm. It's How like a sunset. On it's a like beach a, or something. On a beach. All right. Can you get close to it? See if you can get close to it. I'm on the beach. Mm -hmm. I'm on the beach. Mm -hmm. Can you feel? Waves. All right. Can you feel your body on this beach now? Yeah. I mm -hmm. Feel like. A human form. A human form. Is this human form male or female? Male. Male. Look down at your feet. What do your feet look like? Big, hairy. Mm -hmm. Big, hairy feet. Tell me more. Big beard, big hair, brown hair. Mm -hmm. Almost like Neanderthal, but mm -hmm. oddly figured body, big feet, but thin legs. Mm -hmm. What does the rest of you look like? Take a look at your arms. Thin. Mm -hmm. My whole body's thin, but I have a big feet in it. Very large hair. Very large hair. Look at your hands. What do your hands look like? Are they small or large? Large. Large. How many fingers do you have? Five or six. Mm -hmm. Very good. How do you feel there on this beach? Comfortable. Comfortable. Warm. Mm -hmm. Now as you're on this beach, take a look and see if you're carrying anything. Do you have anything in your hands? I'm almost naked. I just have uh, something covering mm -hmm. my groin. Mm -hmm. I'm just enjoying the beach. I think I'm just standing there looking. Very good. And I'd like for you to just, if you feel inward, how old do you feel? How old are you there? Twenties. Mm -hmm. Do you feel young or do you feel old? What do you feel? Not young, but not old. Mm -hmm. In between. So let's see what else is on that beach. I'd like for you to just look around and see why you're there. What you're doing on that beach. Very good. Very good. So let's find out a little bit more about you. Let's see where it is that you live. I'm going to go ahead and have you close this scene. And when you 
open the scene again, you'll be at the place where you live in that lifetime. So take a deep breath in now and see yourself in the place where you live. What is this place? It's like dim lighting, um, mm -hmm. fabrics, cloths or something. Mm -hmm. Take a look around. What is this place? Is it a structure? Looks like rocks. Like rocks. A like a cave. Very good. So you'll be able to illuminate it with your own internal eyes. I'd like for you to just illuminate the inside of this cave. And tell me, what, what do you see in there? You had said fabrics before. It looks like regular furniture mm -hmm. that we have, but it's a lot of them. Um, like brown cloths and fat mm -hmm. fabrics like covering as curtains they're very poorly draped yes they look scratched up and mm -hmm. it feels nice and warm in here like wonderful. the beach wonderful so as you look around is there anybody with you in this cave I want you to use all of your senses. I thought not, but now I see a woman with a baby. Mm-hmm. And you'll be able to connect with her soul to soul. You'll know who she is. Who is she to you? I feel like, oh, I mean, we're partners. We're I partners. Like name it. Abigail, right away. Abigail, very good. Very good. And that baby she's holding, is it a boy or a girl? Boy. It's a boy. Very good. And I want you to look at Abigail. What does she look like? Does she look like you? Very feminine, tall legs. Mm -hmm. She looks more human, though. Mm -hmm. She looks more human. How do you feel with her? Connect your emotions. Does she feel comfortable for you? I love her. She's my partner. She's your partner. Feel that love. <laughs> feel what it feels like to love someone. You love your baby. What do you call your baby? I think Tom. Tom, very good. Very good. So I want you to just feel that emotion of having this family. Miss Bo. Mm hmm. Feel it. <laughs> and now, let's go to another scene that's very important to you. We'll see what it is that you do in this place with your partner. We're going to close the scene and go to another important scene where you and your partner are interacting. Be there now. What's happening? <laughs> We're at the beach again. We're at the beach again. What's happening at that beach? We're just holding hands. We're trying to have on the beach. Mm -hmm. you're Hello. Just, you're just holding hands at the beach. Feel that love. What 
is it about this beach that you love so much? <laughs> we come here to be alone and be intimate. And mm -hmm. It's like a special place. It's a special place. It is. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens next. I'd like for you to close the scene and let's go to the next important scene in that lifetime that impacts that life. Be there now. Where are you? I have a weapon or I'm fighting with like a leopard. I'm fighting with a leopard? Mm -hmm. What's happening? Very aggressive. It's attacking me and I don't know if I'm gonna kill it. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happens. It's clawing at me. Mm -hmm. You can detach yourself from that body and just see it as it's happening without feeling any feelings. What happened? Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to detach yourself from that body and tell me where you go as spirit. What happens next? What do you see? She finds my body. She finds my body. How are you feeling there? Sad, but I, I feel like I've made peace with it. Mm hmm. So now that you've made peace with it, I'd like for you to look at that lifetime from a different perspective. Every lifetime has a purpose and a lesson. What was the purpose of that lifetime? Saying the word trust. Mm hmm. I feel like she didn't like when I would leave and have to go hunt. Mm hmm. She worried a lot. She did worry a lot. Mm hmm. What did you learn? Now that you understood why she worried so much. What did you learn from that lifetime? Trust. Trust. Everything will be okay. Trust and everything will be okay. Very good. Very good. So I'd like for you to leave that lifetime behind. And let's see what happens to your spirit. Where do you go after you leave that lifetime behind? Hmm. Check in with your body and see how your body looks in that form. I'm seeing. <clears throat> Like blue and green blobs. Blue and green blobs. Mm hmm. They're moving and shifting. Mm hmm. What are those blue and green blobs? See if you can connect with them. Everything has consciousness. I see it in front of me and I see it as it's me. Uh -huh. Like I'm slowly gluing to it, mm -hmm. connecting, and it's pulling me in. The closer I get, the more it pulls. And... Mm -hmm. How does it feel? Like I'm a part of this blob. Mm -hmm. you know, it's gray and it's constantly moving. Mm -hmm. And forming like little balls, and they keep moving. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to move? But this liberating, liberating. I can, mm -hmm. I can move around easily, and my joint—I have not joints. Mm -hmm. Just blob. 
Wonderful. So let's keep moving with this blob and tell me what happens next when you're in this form. Just describe as you go. I see energy atoms moving mm-hmm. around. Mm-hmm. Energy and atoms moving around? Are you part of this energy? Yes. Yes. I'm merging with it now and it keeps moving me as I merge mm-hmm. and blend with it as one piece. Yes. What happens next? this gray is developing into anything. It's kind of bubbly, like a bubbly liquid. Like a bubbly liquid, mm-hmm. And as you're in this bubbly liquid, are you interacting with any of the other bubbles? within this liquid? Or are you becoming this liquid? I'm trying to look at myself, but I, I just, I don't see anything but me. I think this is me, mm-hmm. not this bubbly mm-hmm. Good. liquid. Good. So what we're going to do is just accelerate the speed in which this bubbly liquid evolves. And as you breathe, feel yourself evolving more and more and tell me what happens. (laughs) What? (laughs) I'm in a, like a, I'm a gray liquid in a glass. Mm Mm-hmm. You're a gray Baker liquid. tube or something. It's an orb. Mm-hmm. You're an orb. I'm this gray liquid in this glass orb. Mm-hmm. I'm trapped in here. I can't move no matter how much I try. Mm-hmm. And where is it? It's bubbling and it's hot. It's like mercury. It's in a lab or something. Mm-hmm. Look around and see if there's anybody there. There's a doctor. A doctor. A scientist. Mm-hmm. What does this doctor look like? Like 35 or something. Mm-hmm. Like can you speak you know, louder so I can hear you? He's like 35, uh-huh. I think. He's like a young professional. Mm-hmm. He has an, um, a light, has glasses that, are, that shine as a light and some mask or something mm-hmm. over his mouth. And he's writing something down. And I'm in this container and I'm looking at it in as an observer in a room, but how are you some science experiment? Mm-hmm. How are you feeling knowing that this doctor is doing an experiment with you? Do you have any feelings? Are you neutral about this? Neutral. Neutral. just can't get out. Mm-hmm. You're feeling trapped. It's hot and I can't get out. Mm-hmm. So what happens next? Being taken through tubes, mm-hmm. pulled out. How are you being pulled out of this suction? Mm-hmm. This air is. I'm being pulled. Through. Being pulled out. Mm-hmm. Into other chambers, liquids, 
and I'm being mixed with other chemicals. Mm-hmm. How does it feel now to be mixed with other chemicals? Burning, volatile reaction. It's bubbling. Mm-hmm. It's very, very rapid. Mm-hmm. I'm shaking. It's like I'm vibrating. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm chemically changing my molecules are changing mm -hmm. just shaking so as your whole being is being changed is that changing who you are the composition of who you are is that being changed I feel like I'm still the same I'm just being dispersed to bonded with a, with a different chemical. Mm -hmm. So I'm still there, but I have to sh now be by, by, bound to this chemical. Mm -hmm. What does this chemical do to you? It's hardening and it feels colder. It's hardening it feels colder. Mm -hmm. Like a block? Mm hmm are you, are you being formed into a block? Like a cube, yeah. Mm-hmm. What color is this cube? Gray, I still see. Part of me merging in other tubes as this gray liquid and part of it, it the, the other chemical is white. Mm-hmm. And it neutralizes as a gray tone. Mm -hmm. It's on this gray, metallic-looking cube. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine is going to happen to this cube? See if you could connect with the scientist mind. See if you could find a purpose as to why you have been formed into this cube. First impression is like energy, like this. It gives off magnetic energy. Mm -hmm. It's like a magnetic cube, but it's powerful and it can pull in magnets better than others mm -hmm. all right so what i'd like for you to do i feel like i'm pulling mm -hmm. i just keep pulling things to my center see what it is that you're pulling into your center this energy mm -hmm. what is this energy that you're pulling it's in powerful. It's very strong and uh, The more I pull, the more I draw in, mm -hmm. I can pull in. What do you do? Anything magnetic. Okay, so you're pulling in something magnetic into this cube? Or into yourself? I think I, can, I think this cube is able to pull things in, not just on. Mm -hmm. What do you do with this energy that you pull in? give myself more energy somehow mm -hmm. make it stronger the more I pull the more I uh, it's just about energy the sign I see it in his notes it's about energy and f force mm -hmm. velocity this project worked and it's making me stronger there's something like a device I'm attached to that makes me pull in things mm -hmm. and, and my whole being is vibratory it's constantly pulling things in mm -hmm. let's see what it is that you're attached to 
Use that part of your mind. It looks like a magnet. It's very long and narrow. Mm. I'm attached on the tip of it, and it's the magnet itself is attached to a machine that draws in. Ah, the whole thing is just vibrating. It's so powerful. It, it can pull in all energy. I feel like it's just sucking in any energy, not even magnetic. It's just mm -hmm. anything. It's just getting stronger, and I feel it more intensely. The whole cube is buzzing. Mm -hmm. Like a black hole, like I'm just pulling things in. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to go to the next scene when something happens with you as this cube. Go to the next scene that's important. What happens? It goes too far. It just keeps pulling and pulling and mm -hmm. destroys the whole place. Mm -hmm. It was too powerful. pulls in the whole office, the whole place is just pulled in. Mm -hmm. So I don't it know like if the doctors there or not. So see yourself now. What are you now? Are you still the cube? Or you are you outside of the cube? It pulls in of it itself and it merges in of itself. I don't even know if it's a device anymore. It's mm -hmm. just it goes in of itself. I, I can't mm -hmm. describe it. it. Anything that goes near it, it just pulls in. Okay, so what are you doing with all of this energy? Now that you have everything kind of imploded inside of you, what do you do with it? Mm -hmm. and it gets larger the more it pulls in mm -hmm. it's just energy that pulls in it's getting big it's like a black hole now mm -hmm. let's keep going and see where this goes there's nothing left it just pulled everything in it All it's right. just space again All right. So tell me what you see now. I'm moving as this black hole and I don't have much around me as everything was sucked in. Mm -hmm. I'm just in space merging with the fabric of everything. And this being that just has nothing left to give, nothing left to receive. Mm -hmm. Just being my so just being yourself. So now let's close this scene and we're going to now go to the next important lifetime. The next important lifetime that is impacting this current life. I'm going to count from five to one as we go to that lifetime. When I get to number one, I'd like to, for you to be there. Five, moving through time and space to find that next moment in time. Four. Three. Two. Allow the images to come. And one. Be there now. Where are you? There's a huge sun. A huge what? 
a huge sun. It's big and yellow. Mm -hmm. It's right next to me, and I'm ready to just rip it apart. Mm -hmm. Just suck it in. Mm -hmm. What do you feel from this large sun? It's much larger than me, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can pull it in completely. Mm -hmm. Are you still this black hole? Yes. Mm -hmm. What happens when you try? Gravity is too strong. It's the sun is pulling me in. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Tight. Mm -hmm. What happens as you're pulled in? <sighs> I'm being dispelled and mm -hmm. being separated one by one, and the, there's. Uh, a strand of sun that I'm still trying to suck in, but this thing is too huge. It's pulling me in instead. I, I can't, I'm no longer able to pull in gravity. I can't, I just, I'm being sucked in and I'm feeling the heat and I, I'm no longer this, I'm being broken apart into little pieces until I'm nothing left. Mm -hmm. And it overcomes me. Mm-hmm. So in this state of nothingness, you can begin again. I'm in the sun. Mm -hmm. So bright. Mm -hmm. God. How does that feel? So bright. Mm -hmm. So bright. It's sucking me in. Mm -hmm. What do you feel from it? Molten white. White. Mm -hmm. pulling me in. And, uh, I'm trying. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to fight it, but I can't. It's just mm -hmm. it's too powerful. <laughs> I can't. I'm no longer a being. I can no longer pull things in. I, I can no longer trap things in. Mm -hmm. And something else. It's like something else has to overcome that. That I, I thought I was strong. I thought I could. I could take over and I can't. There's mm -hmm. always something bigger and brighter and able to tear me apart. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't. This universe is too big. So as you're in the sun, I'd like to see if you can connect with the sun. See if the sun has consciousness that you can communicate with. It's vibrating very mm -hmm. powerfully. Vibrating very powerfully. It's a hum. Mm -hmm. It's loving, but it's embracing. And such a strong beam of light. This sun is enormous. I, there's nothing that can leave. Mm -hmm. But you don't need to leave. How does it feel to be in that embrace now? Mm -hmm. Reassurance. Mm -hmm. Smiling back. It's so big and bright and loving. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. So why is it that the sun had to overcome you to bring you within itself? You can't fight. Mm -hmm. There's no power force. There's just more merging. Mm -hmm. And there's even something bigger and brighter than this sun. Mm -hmm. And you think that's it? There's much more. 
Mm -hmm. Have you connected with that much more? I'm connecting to part of it through this sun. All right. Go it's ahead. Getting the unknowing and a peace. Wonderful. Allow yourself to connect even more mm -hmm. intensely, and let's see if you can connect with this more powerful source. Mm -hmm. I feel like it was the sun I saw mm -hmm. on the beach. It's the same sun. Mm -hmm. This is so big, it's blue and yellow and bright. It, it's on, it has different planets near it. Mm -hmm. Large planets. Large planets. Mm -hmm. In its own system. Mm -hmm. My entire being is merged with the sun, and I, I feel very light and vibratory, and I can't stop vibrating. Mm -hmm. Like the mercury magnet cube, I, I'm feeling the same magnetic feeling as if I was meant to be drawn here mm -hmm. instead. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can connect even more. Allow yourself to open that connection with that source of much higher power. And let's ask this higher power, why is it that this soul needed to experience this intense feeling. Healing. Healing. The whole body is shaking, mm. vibrating. It feels like a, someone is just buzzing. Mm-hmm. Energy all throughout from head to toe. Mm-hmm. What is this energy that he's feeling from head to toe? feels like the whole body is shaking, mm -hmm. buzzing, and mm -hmm. numb. Let's identify this vibration. Does this vibration have some sort of a frequency of healing? Yes. What is the frequency being used to heal? What is, it, what is the healing in this case? It's light. It's the white light from the sun. It's just merging with his body and vibrating him and healing him mm -hmm. everywhere. Every cell is being energized. Mm -hmm. It's depletion. What kind of healing is he receiving? Is it emotional healing or physical healing? What is this healing that he's receiving? Everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. Why is it that at this time, this body needs to be healed? He needed it. It, it was very depleted. Mm -hmm. What depleted his body from energy? Lack of energy, lack, lack. Mm -hmm. Low energy, low vibration, low circumstances, mm -hmm. low feelings, life itself. It needs healing. It needs healing. Why is it that this soul, who is in such light, with such power, come to be in a circumstances right now of such lack of energy? Did he choose to feel this? Yes. 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 Okay. Please allow him to go now to the point in time where he made that decision with his guides to come here to planet Earth as this 
individual as this entity known as Tony. I'm going to count from five back to one. And when I get to number one, let's be at that meeting to determine the circumstances of his life. Begin now by taking a deep breath in. Where are you? Baby is at two months and it's getting ready to go in. Mm -hmm. The baby is at two months. Mm -hmm. Talking with the. He's blue. He's tall. He's blue and tall. Who is this? A headpiece. Mm -hmm. What kind of headpiece does he have? Blue, but whitish, but light blue, but it's like a harp. It has like two doves on it as a decoration. Mm -hmm. Strings or does this guide have some sort of a human form or some other form? I think it's one of the head members. The head members. Mm hmm. Very tall and he's assisting me to the next life. Mm hmm How many do you see besides this one? Any others? I think we're alone. We're alone. All right. So I'd like for you to tell me what it is that you're discussing at this time before you enter the body of this baby. What is the plan? I think there's a lot I need to know. I don't think I have entered Earth. You have not entered Earth before? I don't think so. Is this a new planet for you? It's very unfamiliar. I'm gathering my thoughts last minute with the member, and I need to go in the womb. Mm -hmm. Have you chosen this family? I'm saying a yes and a no. Mm -hmm. Part of it is a council decision. Part of it is mine mm -hmm. to learn. All right. So what is the decision? Why this family? Was that your decision or the council? I chose my mother. Mm -hmm. The rest. Mm -hmm. Have you known this mother before in a different place? Are they new to you? Make sense. Mm -hmm. Tell me what it is. What does it make sense? Have you known? I think so. I think she's the... I think she's a partner on that planet with mm. the beach. Mm -hmm. I think she came back to give birth to me. Mm -hmm. And I needed to know... the other side of things, how it was like to be the baby mm -hmm. without a father. Mm -hmm. You needed to know how it feels to leave your baby behind. Is that why you chose that family? Yes. Okay. What else 
What are the revelations are you receiving from your guide? I can't even see it. It's like there's a page with many lists of things that there's so many things I have to do, but I it's like I don't want to go. Mm -hmm. Who has written out this list? The the blue tall member. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's a leader. He's really tall and important. He has a beard and a white beard. He's part blue, part white. Mm -hmm. A matured face. Is he dressed a in a cloak? Any... Okay, a cloak? Covering him to his toes. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this guide? He's... He knows a lot. He knows a lot. Is it a very wise? Yes. Okay. So I know that he has a very long list for you. I'd like for you now to just take a look at that list. Almost as if you had photogenic eyes and memory. And I'd like for you to just look at that list right now and see what pops out at you. What's the first thing that pops out that is needed to be learned in this incarnation as Tony? <laughs> Repetition or reputation. Mm -hmm. I think I'm, I'm being... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'll know what it is. Boredom. Uh, Boredom. It's linking back to the boredom problem. Mm -hmm. What is I it that... to experience the same thing over and over again, to mm -hmm. get used to it, to mm -hmm. be with... To, uh, to be a part of this and to be okay with it. Mm -hmm. I need to experience the same thing instead of change. I need to experience the heaviness on the other side to know the difference between because the sun I almost wants to say that Tony is so drawn to He's drawn to the beach. He loves the sun. He loves the sunlight. And he's so drawn to it because it's so light, it's so freeing, liberating. It's the sun changes and merges in itself and replicates and heats up and changes its pattern changes, its vibration changes, and he's experienced that, but he needs to know mm -hmm. what it's like to be still. Mm -hmm. So is that the purpose of him coming here? To experience that stillness? That heaviness? Yes. Mm -hmm. He likes change, but he needs to sit in stillness. Mm -hmm. Now in that lifetime where he was with his partner, the lifetime seemed pretty still. Yes, mm -hmm. it was very peaceful. Mm -hmm. Is he trying to recreate that here on Earth? He's trying to grab, I'm literally seeing hands trying to reach at thin air. He's trying to grab at something that's not there. Mm -hmm. Uh, he feels something is missing, but it's it's um his his restlessness is linked to this. He uh, was not ready to go. He was not ready to leave his life. So. Uh, Showing the cube again. Mm -hmm. um, I think the yes. Um, why was he put in the cube? There's a reason he became a black hole. 
Mm-hmm. Why did he become a black hole? He seems to have been drawing everything towards him. Okay, I'm going to say that it's the... I don't know why that would happen, but I feel like it was the aggression of leaving that life behind, but why would... Mm -hmm. Can Maybe we tap take in? That aspect out of him, that aggression or that that tribal instinct, or mm -hmm. can we tap into the council now yes. and get their information? Tap in. Be there now with them. Let's get some answers from them, please. Mm -hmm. He needed to experience what it was like to let go mm -hmm. and not be transitioned into the next life. Uh, the black hole was for the purpose of letting go of that life, not being in control or in power. He couldn't make it as that entity for long. There is always something else that will come up that will overpower that will or that will make you know what's on the other side. What, what what's for your 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 higher self? What's for your best self? Mm -hmm. So he needed to experience that to know what it was like to transition life after life in different aspects as a as a caveman like human like form as a energy that pulls everything in and hmm, letting go. Mm -hmm. Being one with the energy, being calm in the stillness, not so rapid and violent and like a violent caveman or a violent black hole, mm -hmm. just to be in the opposite. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. To be in the opposite. So in this lifetime, as Tony, he has chosen once again to be in a place where he is using his energy in a, in a certain way how is that energy affecting others asking what is it asking all right Uh, that's where the reputation links in now. Mm -hmm. What? It's almost like an example of what to be, what not to be. Mm -hmm. So he shows different sides to show what to be and what not to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they. Yes. Uh, When people see that in him, uh, I can't help but notice he has gotten a lot of regard, a lot of remarks about his eyes and how they look like black holes. Mm -hmm. He always wondered. He always wondered what that meant. Does he have black holes in his eyes? Does he reflect that life? Mm -hmm. So what can he do 
to use. He's showing uh, that side. Mm. That is rapid and violent, but calm and peaceful at the same time. Uh, yin and yang. Mm-hmm. The black and the white merge together like the mercury cube. Mm-hmm. How can he use those eyes? Can he use them as tools to assist him? I'm asking. People see themselves through the eyes, so they see in the eyes of Tony that which is within them, their darkness and their light, the balance of forces. They see what is there and what is yet to come. Mm -hmm. So he makes them realize That stillness that needs to entail that sometimes patience is required. Mm -hmm. Sometimes not everything is about the the fight, the the pace, the the race. It's just about existing and understanding and being with this oneness mm -hmm. like how he merged with the sun that was the purpose for coming here balance balance so there is a situation right now where he needs to balance who he is with the world around him he doesn't feel a connection with other people. Mm. How can he learn to balance to where he can be with people? I think this is normal. Mm -hmm. He hasn't came here before. He has been on this other worldly planet. It They keep linking me back to as an example. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, I keep seeing heaviness. Mm -hmm. Heaviness on Earth? Yes. Yes. There's a lot of it. Mm -hmm. So why is he here with all this heaviness? It's bringing him down sometimes. Mm -hmm. and it's really... That's why the, the body is still vibrating as mm -hmm. we speak. Mm -hmm. He needed this because it's bringing him down sometimes. There are days when he's so tense. It's like being trapped like the mercury in the tube. And it's that's why that, was, that happened. That it was preparing him for Earth. Mm -hmm. So what can he do in the future if he's not doing a session like this in order for him to just release all of that and feel lighter again? I know he does meditation. Yes. He works with crystals. He works with Reiki, with a lot of energy. Mm. What can he do for himself to bring more lightness in his body, mind, and spirit? Light, well line. Mm -hmm. Connect to the sun. Does he need to be outdoors more? He's getting enough right now, but he needs to continue. Or he can fall back. Mm-hmm. 
Is there anything else that is connected to the sun that it can assist him? For example, plants or trees. There's a beam of light, a line in the center of the body. And someone told him the best way to align yourself is to imagine this beam directly down the center of the body mm -hmm. from above. And it will just replenish you and recharge you. Is that what's happening now? Yes. He's directly connected. Very good. To the sun, yes. Mm -hmm. There's a cord of thin, narrow, white light beaming down, and it's vibrating the entire body. Wonderful. And while we're doing that, let's take a look at what's going on with his body as far as sexuality is concerned. Why is he not feeling connected to others sexually? Mm. Is he on a different frequency? There's no need. Mm -hmm. There are other ways to fulfill his satisfaction, but He's not here for that. That's He's not here for that. Okay. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. Okay. Now, we understand that. What about the anxiety he feels in public places? What is he picking up in public places? Because as that cube... He was drawing in energy to himself. Is he somehow doing the same thing when he's in a public place? Is he feeling their energy? What happens to this body? when it's in a public place with so many other energies. The difference. I just see the difference. There's still that bright light and it's It's just he, he's very different inside with this light as long as he keeps it in mm -hmm. the body. Yes. It's vastly different from what's here. So that is linked. Okay. I'm seeing sweating nervousness that's linked with when he when he goes in public places with people he gets nervous and sweats because of the vibration of the light the light comes out then and it releases and it makes him sweat like mm -hmm. right now it's releasing and making him sweat mm -hmm. with heat and Part of it is confused with the ego because it thinks that I'm not comfortable, but really it's just a different mode of mm -hmm. being. All right. It's unfamiliar territory. So how can he use that? Can he use that energy to help others? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see what that energy That's why is. He's drawn to the healing. Mm hmm and helping people he's always said that he wants to help and there's just this this love inside of wanting to help and 
there's this picture I'm being shown now. It's on Tony's desk. Mm-hmm. It's of him as a baby holding a cat, and his eyes looked like little suns. And it's the sun. It's the same sun on the beach I'm seeing. Mm-hmm. And he kept thinking of it. Why am I shown this sun in my eyes when I was a baby? And now it, it's going to make sense. Mm-hmm. It's his. It's his past it's him it's a part of him he's it's like uh, this light so when he is in the presence of others will he be emitting that sun within him yes Mm -hmm. it's in there and it's part of it is channeled in him to leave from the body to be channeled through the body and uh uh-huh. yes it submerges as atoms within other people like the atoms of the cube mm-hmm. and this light blends on a subconscious level with other people and it on an atomic level it, and it vibrates mm-hmm. and he has this this friend and and she often describes this feeling and now it makes Mm-hmm. And when they met, they were both vibrating. They both vibrating. Very good. Did they know each other from a different place, these two souls? Yes, that, that's how they met. She contacted Tony and said that she knew him. Mm-hmm. He had no idea what that meant. He was 19. Mm-hmm. And he found it strange. He was a bit lost, but... Through her, I feel like she has some of this in her as well, and she brought it to his awareness, and mm-hmm. that's the purpose for, they, they call each other soul, twin soul flame, and mm-hmm. that was their reason for meeting. Mm-hmm. They are a part of this being, this sunlight, and they, when they meet, strange things happen. Mm-hmm. So is she a soulmate to him? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. There's nothing to fear. He's so fearful. He keeps thinking there's something strange about this relationship or that it shouldn't be or shouldn't exist. It's there. It's there. Very yeah. good. Very good. So he should continue yes. with this relationship. Good. Definitely. Very good. They share. They share this energy. Yes. Mm-hmm. With all of this energy. He magnifies when they meet and strange things happen, airport delays, and they meet the most, and this is on a, uh, just the earthly level, but negative people, because they need this energy, Mm -hmm. and when they meet, they do amazing things. Wonderful. Wonderful. Is there anything else that you want to tell him about this relationship? It's a loving one. It's a one of love. Mm-hmm. She loves him very much, and he doesn't understand it. Mm-hmm. He can be quite detached. There are moments when they bond, but it's one of love. There's nothing to fear. Very good. One of the things that he's concerned about in his body is his tonsils. They seem to be forming some stones there. Would you identify the origin of these stones? Where are they coming from? I was seeing the blue and green blobs merging together again, and they look like the tonsils. There's something there. Mm -hmm. What is that that's there? What's attached to his tonsils? The forces, okay. Has something attached to those tonsils? Yes. Something dark? Yes. Okay. Can we identify what that is? 
Would you allow it to speak through him? Give it a voice. You there in the tonsils? What are you? You can speak clearly through his voice. What are you? You can speak clearly now. Mm -hmm. Use his words. You can speak clearly. What are you? Mm -hmm. What I'd like for you to use? Alien being. Alien being, all right. So being that you're an alien being, you could use his vocabulary to communicate with me. Would you tell me where you come from? Nebula. Nebula. Mm -hmm. How did you attach to this soul? To a dark time. To a dark time. Whose dark time? Mm -hmm. His dark time? Yes. Mm -hmm. In, the black hole. In the black hole. Were you sucked into this black hole while he was traveling? Yes. Yes. So what has happened to you? Are you trapped? Merged. You merged. So what is it that you're doing to him, merged with him? Affecting his heart and throat. Affecting his heart and throat. For what purpose are you affecting it? Anger. Anger. Okay. Well, I would, I would understand that you would be very angry if he comes by and would suck me into his energy. Is that the problem? Yes. Yes. Okay. So if you had the ability to disconnect and be individual once again, would you want that? Would you want your freedom? I'm so angry. You're so angry. Let's find out why you're so angry. Would you tell me what that is? Why are you so angry? I'm trapped. You're trapped, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't like it here. You don't like it here. Where would you like to be instead? Back home to space. Back home in space. So I'd like to ask, why is it that you are trapped? Why are you trapped there? I can't, help it. I can't get out. You can't get out. Would you like me to help you get out? Would you like Something. me? You sucked in. Okay. So take a moment now, and I'd like for you to just relax. Can you relax for me? Just relax. That's it. Because when somebody resists something, it just gets tighter and tighter. So I'm going to take a moment now, and I'm going to speak with this entity we call Tony, and see why Tony has not been able to release you. Take a deep breath in now. Tony. Do you realize that you have this alien who is trapped within you? Yes. Yes. Did you invite him in? No. no. Yes. You no. did or no? Let's see if you know this. My dark... My darkness did. My your, light. Did your not. darkness did. Okay, so what I would like for you to do is I would like to you to, for, to focus on that light within you. And I want you to turn that light on and begin shining that light instead. Begin now. I'm going to count from one to five. With each number, I want you to amplify that light. Make it bright as the sun. Begin now. One. Beginning to get brighter and brighter now. Two. Amplify that light. That's it. Three. Making it even brighter. Get that light as bright as the sun. Four, even more powerful, even more powerful. And five, all the way up now, all the way up. And let me speak with that alien. Alien, how does that light feel to you? Better. Better. Let's use that light to find your way back home. I'd like for you to find that column of light 
leaving up through his crown chakra. Find that column of light and let's begin traveling through that column. And tell me what happens. Begin to follow that column of light. Sucked in. Mm -hmm. Sucked out. Very good. All right, bring it back. Take a look at the body. Has that alien now found his way back home? Very good. So just take a deep breath in and release. Release all of that tension. Take a look at those tonsils. Better. Better. What would make them even better? More light. Let's put more light. What color light would you like to put in those tonsils? Blue and for the heart green. That's good. Let's bring it in. Let's begin beaming it like lasers of light. Mm. Working on those tonsils, working on the heart. And as we bring in that light, I want you to feel the energy of it. Relaxing it. Letting go of any tension within that heart, within that throat. Very good. What would make it feel even better? What can we put in this body to make it even better? All right, so I'm going to put my hand over your heart, and we're going to bring in that love. Bring that love in. And as that heart begins to pulse, feel that love spreading through the entire system, having every cell in this body receive this light. <laughs> feel it going in. Every cell bursting in love. In love for itself. <laughs> for the beauty of the connection. Feel that love going in. And I'm going to let, seal it in the heart and put it in the mind. Let's seal that love up here too. Tell me how that love feels as it flows. Mm -hmm. What is it? Replenishing. Replenishing. Very good. And now that this body is replenishing, and this light is now bright, we can connect with others, others that are also needing some light. And I'd like for you now to connect with the soul of Poopsie. I'd like for you to show this entity, Tony, the soul of Poopsie. And let's connect and see what tall... What can Tony do to assist Poopsie today? He loves birds. Mm -hmm. oh, he always sees them. He always sees them. What's the connection? What is it that Poopsie is so upset about? Can we connect now with Poopsie? Why is Poopsie pulling out his feathers? He needs replenishing. He needs replenishing. All right. Emotional. Mm hmm And love. They they uh, they share a bond. So when Tony's down and upset, so is the bird. Mm hmm So now that Tony has all of this love in his heart, I'd like for you to show Tony how to beam that love directly from his heart into the heart of Poopsie. And let's begin the replenishing of Poopsie's energy now that they're connected. It is done very good. Thank you so much. And Tony is now on a new path, a new career path. He wants to know what he should be doing spiritually and if his hypnotherapy is on the right path. 
he needs to do it. Mm-hmm. He needs to get comfortable with this type of change and to finally deal with people. To deal with people. Mm-hmm. Whether he liked it or not, whether he avoided it for long, whether he didn't do it now, he would have had to eventually. He would have had to. There's no choice in that. Okay. Now, all of this time, Tony has had this alien within him. How was this alien affecting him? Distraction. Distraction. Mm Mm-hmm. Loss of focus, loss of purpose. Mm-hmm. Defeated him and get, it drained his energy field. Depleted him. He went to a healer and he said he's never seen someone with more energy. Mm-hmm. And now, tell me how that energy is looking. It's promising. Uh, the body is still vibrating rapidly it's taking a while because it's been depleted for mm-hmm. so long mm-hmm. so how long will Tony be in the state of being replenished after this session will it continue when he sleeps many years many years will connect to the sun and keep this vibration within just mm-hmm. like this friend mm-hmm Now this guide that he saw, the blue and white guide, is this guide always with him? He's seen him before in dreams. He's seen him before in dreams. He often sees himself going in libraries and going in school and traveling and lurking along hallways. He's there when Mm. he is not here, Mm -hmm. meaning when he sleeps, he's very busy picking up books and he, he often communicates with this elder but he's he's not supposed to know too much it's there's not much being said mm-hmm. why is that if he remembers why is he here mm. but now we've given him a cheat sheet now he's gone through this session and he wasn't brought here by accident Why did you bring him here if he wasn't supposed to remember too much? Ego. (laughs) His ego will get very big. His ego will get very big. Okay. So you're trying to keep him humble. He needs to learn to be grounded Mm -hmm. to earth and experience it for a very long time. Okay. Good. Will he be guided? He connects with us in his dreams, so he doesn't need to worry. He often describes feeling like he can't see. Mm -hmm. Similar to what you do, Alba, hypnosis. Mm -hmm. He gets very blurry vision. When he wakes up, he feels incredibly tired, but that's because he does a lot when he sleeps. He does a lot when he sleeps. Is he helping other people? When he sleeps? Or is he just researching? He's picking up information mm. and he is very busy learning and lurking the halls. Mm-hmm. And it's a peace it's a place of peace for him. Mm. Often he dreams of getting lost. Mm-hmm. But that's because it's he's not He's not supposed to know. Very good. Now, he does have situations that he needs to address. People who are difficult in his life, what advice would you like to give him about those people he encounters that are a little bit difficult? Repeat the question. Well, he has people in his life that he doesn't resonate with. They're a little difficult to deal with. What advice do you give him for those people? Not important. 
not important. He's here just to experience. Just to experience. So he, he needs to experience all of it. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Yes. Mm-hmm. Good. He's so used to freedom, being free, lurking, roaming. Mm-hmm. His high state of being, it's very easy to be up there roaming around, having all of the time in the world, and having your existence, your peace, your happiness, but you have to experience the change to know the difference, Mm -hmm. otherwise if you're up there all the time, what do you know? Mm -hmm. You don't know anything yet. There is a light and a dark in everything, and dark sometimes resides and hides, such as in the throat, as experienced. Mm -hmm. And uh, they don't know where they are, they get lost just as much as the light gets lost in the dark. Yes. Are there any others that are hiding or lost? Or how does his body look? Let's take a look. Not sensing anything. Not sensing anything. Very good. Very good. Now, I know that you drove him up here. Uh, It was easy for him to get here today. Is there anything else that you would like to tell him while he's in this wonderful state? Just live. It's going to be a long one. Mm-hmm. A long life. Very long. Mm-hmm. It may be hectic. At times, it may be time-consuming. But remember the sun. Remember the sun. Very good. And how? You are that sun. You are part. Part of the sun. Of this energy and. The darkness shuts away. Very good. Very good. Now, how can he communicate with you easier next time without being in this state? That ego is a stubborn one. Mm-hmm. He meditates, but sometimes I feel like it's not enough because... Mm-hmm. Maybe easier now because this burden was released, but that was a huge reason for coming here. It was really dragging him down. Mm-hmm. For years. Yes. So now that that is released, it should be easier to connect? Much easier. Like now. Very good. Very good. Take time off. But don't be afraid to take time off. Very good advice. Don't consume yourself in this. Do you have any more advice for him or anybody else? Don't consume yourself like the Bible consumed everything. Because mm-hmm. you will become that aggression again. You will become that aggression again. Balance, balance, harmony. Balance and harmony. Peace. Mm-hmm. And peace. Don't forget to connect. Very good. Is there anything else, or are we complete today? He's free to go. He's free to go. Thank you so much for your assistance today. What do you remember? It's like it wiped for me clean. Like a clean slate, but mm-hmm. I do remember the sun. You do remember the sun? Do you remember anything else? And now the mercury is coming to me. Mm-hmm. Oh, just relax. I just need to just relax. Just breathe. That vibration was the m- most important of all. It. Mm-hmm. I really can't feel my. I can't move my arms. Mm-hmm. Um. 
Just feel it. It's coming in more. Just with every breath, you'll feel more and more life coming back into your body. Just take a deep breath in, almost like you're filling up a balloon with energy. You'll be bringing all of that life force in. Just feel it as if you were just bringing in, like filling up a balloon with every breath. Bringing in all of that life force. Mm -hmm. Bring all that blood to circulate. You can control it yourself. I remember feeling this numb when I was at the hospital mm -hmm. once and I was so scared and the, yeah. the fear brought more numbness. So I'm mm -hmm. trying to just uh, chill. You're doing fine. You're great. How are you feeling? It's healing. I know. Mm -hmm. It's bright and it's healing and Yeah. Numbing. And you're gonna be feeling this for a little while. But just enjoy it. Enjoy just this energy that's coming through. It almost hurts to move. Hmm? It almost hurts to move. <laughs> well you can stay there for a little while. Yes. Mm hmm Just breathe. You've had quite an experience. light coming through mm -hmm. that's all I know I don't yeah. know anything I just remember the light of the sun and mercury that's you it you don't remember anything else the cave mm -hmm. that planet was huge mm -hmm. there was way more to it when I looked from up I can't move <laughs> when I looked <laughs> didn't think this would happen <laughs> uh, when I looked from above mm -hmm. I mean the clouds were never ending it took forever to leave that planet and mm -hmm. i'm thinking back to science now my analytical mind um mm -hmm. the more clouds the more atmosphere the larger the planet and that thing was huge mm -hmm. and it had a big yellow sun which i was a part of but mm -hmm. i was i guess i was wow do clients normally feel mm -hmm. this way do clients normally feel like this no well arms? you have you have your 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 you're unique oh. So, I really can't feel it. Um, I needed maybe to experience looking back on the sun, mm -hmm. and that wasn't good enough, mm -hmm. so I needed to come here. Yeah. I was, I, my ego or whatever, I guess, kept trying to, or myself, my mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. higher self kept trying to dig into why I'm here or, yeah. or other lives and I just you don't have other lives here this is a new experience for you the blank page was the other lives maybe those are my only ones or maybe I did just wasn't your energy supposed to know I think maybe that was just my life there in the library I don't know mm -hmm. yeah not for me to know mm -hmm. but <laughs> this is so weird I can't move This is coming back more, but this one is just stiff and rigid. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just touch that hand and just feel feel the energy coming back to it. Just feel it coming back. Feel the blood coming back into it. Okay. Feel it moving more. Feel it moving more. Okay. Okay. Just feel the energy moving more. Bring it in. Bring it in. I'm thinking just earth, earth, ground. Mm -hmm. earth, earth, yeah, earth. that's what I'm doing. It's helping me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've been floating. Mm -hmm. not expect this to be that powerful I thought it would just be <laughs> me you did wonderful you did fantastic that was great thank you so much you're Oprah. welcome thank you you're a lifesaver literally mm -hmm. is this something you want to share with others you want to keep private yes I love to share it oh it's recording okay. yes how do you go? I, um I feel very, very light. <laughs> I feel, uh, I was just telling Alba, like my hands are tentacles and yes. they won't move. They're very stiff. 
Mm -hmm. um, but I still feel the vibration through yeah. my whole body and I, I'm just inside shaking, shaking inside. Yeah. yeah. So that was the energy that you were receiving. Yeah. From the sun. Yeah. Um, and it, it was intense. I have never had, I've had similar experiences <laughs> where, uh, I'd meditate and yeah. listen to an audio and I, my hands would go numb, but never this much. I, <sighs> so did you think that you were hypnotized? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, Deep. so what it feel like to you? What does hypnosis feel like to you? It feels like you are kind of. I remember going once into um, it's called anesthesia, mm -hmm. and it feels similar going in as you're drifting off, and I feel as if my jaw starts to <laughs> open and my neck yeah. is tilting back, and I recall some moments, but some yes. I don't, just as in a light anesthesia. Yes. Yeah. Good. So um, this is really good practice for you because you're learning to be a hypnotherapist yourself. Yes. Um, I am. <laughs> uh, so do you think this was a good experience for you to know what it feels like on the receiving end? Yes, that mm -hmm. was a big one of the reasons, big reasons why I came. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to know what it feels like. Is this real? Do, is it how people describe it? It definitely is. Uh, yes. As how people, I watched so many of all those videos. And, and not everybody is going to react many, the way you are. But many people who are first timers uh, that I've witnessed on your channel have described similar feelings. And I thought, well, is it really like this? And, yeah. and it, it pretty much is. That's great. So. That's great. So do you recommend this experience to other people? Yes, definitely, without a doubt. This is life-changing. Uh, I feel like something major just released some a big toxic shift. energy. Oh, and I'm, as I'm moving my shoulders, I feel this electric shock. Of, oh. <laughs> You're just a ball of energy, that's why. You did great. You did great. So um, do you have any recommendations for anybody out there wanting to do something like this? How would they, how would they prepare themselves for this? I would plan ahead of time uh, your questions, not really last minute. It's supposed to come. I, I feel like message comes through mm -hmm. within weeks or days before your session. Yeah. They'll sort of know you're doing this. And, mm -hmm. you know, um, I think whatever just comes to mind, write down and mm -hmm. um, ask away. It's meant for you. And you didn't have that many questions. They all kind of flowed in. No, because I am young. I'm only 24, but I, I feel like I've already experienced so much and I've been <laughs> through such heaviness and mm -hmm. dealing with just heavy situations and people. Yeah. And uh, so uh, there, I guess in that regard, there wasn't a lot for me to ask. Mm -hmm. but Which is good because that gave us the opportunity to experience more. Yeah. Okay, so when you have less questions, it actually allows me to play more in in uh, in this arena of past lives and experiences because if there's too many questions then I'm kind of trying to get that done rather than what is being shown to you yeah you see what I definitely. mean definitely I think if I yeah if I if spend wrote, more time on why is, I don't know yeah example this, this has nothing to do with it but my, why is my dog treating me this way then I wouldn't have time to to really indulge in exactly. another exactly so we yeah. did we did something really good today mm -hmm. um, so if you would like a session with me just go to my website albawyman.com uh, you go to the newsletter link and yeah and then you subscribe to the newsletter and then about once a month I have on that page when I'm going to be sending out that newsletter you click on that link when the newsletter comes out and you get an appointment and that's what you did yeah first time just don't meant. tell them that they're gonna all cry. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> I lied. <laughs> it was his first time. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're if you're meant to be here, you will. So uh, yes. just keep trying. And yes. thank you for watching. This was a really. When there's a will, there's a way. Yes. You don't can. give up. It don't should. give up. Just try. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one. Bye. Give me that Thank you.